Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. Um, little sad note, uh, my internet's out. Uh, it doesn't matter too much though, because right now there is a bug on PC, and the Grand Appreciation Fest ended two days early. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, I never finished farming the event quests, because I thought I had two more days to go, and I don't get those days. Um, supposedly they're going to compensate us somehow once they fix the problem. I would assume it means they're going to extend the fest for two days for us once they get it fixed or something. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. Anyways. Uh, the lost man back in Astera looked up from his book long enough to send his regards. You should feel lucky. Alright, we don't need anything from here. I'll just go ahead and grab the harvest here. Um, but yeah, so my internet being out doesn't really matter because the internet features aren't working at the moment anyway. So you don't forget. Uh, see you don't forget. A sharp mind is a weapon to rival the keenest blade and a wiser guide than any scout fly. Alright, so let's go craft a few things. We'll craft what we can from the event quests. Oh, we also have a quest that became available. That's right. So let's do this. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going bonkers here with all these ideas. I saw Hunter wearing an, an immunity mantle, and my mind was like, cram something in it. And Hunter, you bet your boots I'm gonna. Take care of the quest. It's the afterlife for me, and we can get to Take work. Whenever you got the time there, Hunter, I know everyone's not itching to get cramming, but you sh you'd sure scratch mine if you helped me out. All right. Slay Black Veil, Thal Hazak. All right, so that's all she's got. Um, so let's go ahead and craft what we can from the events. The young miss at the armory specialist in ergonomics. The, oh, the young miss at the armory is a specialist in ergonomics. Overheard her grilling the seeker a while back about design adjustments and such. Wyverians are built different from humans, so gear's got to be built different too. Hope she got some good insights. All right, so let's start with penance. Um, actually, we can do most of these too, which is nice. Uh, can I do all of them, actually? Oh yeah, easily. Alright, so let's grab all these. I know they're not from events, but we're still gonna grab them. Alright, and then we can also grab all these, I think. These were the event pennants. I believe we got the layered armor already. Yep, there's the astral. Okay, so we already got that, so that's done. Uh, we need to get the clear and Leon, but... Yeah, see, I don't have enough stars badges. I only have si uh, four, and I need six for each of them, so that kind of stinks. That's all right. Um, I don't think that event, event was ending with the Grand Appreciation Fest because it didn't become available until, like, the third week of it, so we're probably okay there. Um, Palico equipment, let's take a look. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so there's the Mega Man Alpha Plus, Moogle Alpha Plus, and the Necker Alpha Plus. I'm not going to worry about getting any of these. Uh, the reason being, I'd rather use the Unity symbols for other things, so we won't worry about that. Um, but let's look down here. So we got the space set. There's the new star set. Uh, Necker, Moogle, Mega Man, Rural. Oh, no way. I think I'd have to take the helmet off. Uh, I don't have an easy way to show that. But this is, um, this armor set is like the original. It's supposed to make your, pal your uh, feline look like the original felines from the old games because um, it's just their like little acorn that they carry with them and their their old school weapon so that's kind of cool and then there's also the maestro set which makes them look like a uh, conductor so that's pretty cool man so many uses for unity symbols and I did not get very many because I just th I didn't have the time that I wanted to, to do that quest I was planning on doing it today um, and yesterday, but it wasn't active, so it's unfortunate. I don't know if I ever show, showed you the Shara Ishvalda Palico set. Also looks very cool. 
uh, continuing with that lotus flower design. Um, Kushala set looks the same as high rank, so nothing special there. Kieran looks the same as well. Uh, here's the Namiel set. I actually like the Namiel set for the Pelico. Um, it actually looks really good, which is nice since, you know, the Hunter armor I don't like at all. Uh, and then Zora Magdaros, uh, Master Rank. Looks like a Jester, which I think is the same as High Rank. And I think I showed Zenoker, but in case I didn't, here's what that looks like. I also like this one. Um, I did get enough stuff to make the Wiggler set, so let's go ahead and switch to that. Because it looks really cool and I like it. And because the Grand Appreciation Fest is technically over for us right now, since it, uh, ended early for whatever reason. So we'll have him run around in that. We'll get all the other stuff later. Hopefully we'll get that quest back and we'll be able to get some more Unity symbols. Um... I'm not going to worry about forging weapons. Because the only one we have is the hammer and upgrading some stuff. Upgrading some weapons. I think we already made the longsword for the guild palace. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, I can't upgrade it yet. Um, yeah, so we should be good there. I didn't get to farm that quest more like I wanted to either. Lots of sadness there. But that's okay. It is what it is. I, I know in the past I've been really good about farming events when they become available, but I have not had nearly enough time to play Monster Hunter as I'd like, so uh, I just kind of have to deal with it. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the Guiding Lands, and I've just decided that I'm not going to worry too much about what areas get raised right now. I'm just going to hunt what's out there and just enjoy hunting and gathering in the Guiding Lands. Um, and we'll focus on certain areas as we go, uh, because it just, there's a reason to raise every area. So, uh, they all have different benefits, so, um, I'm just gonna hunt what's there, and whatever goes up goes up, and then we'll adjust it later as needed. Did not get to craft as many things as I thought I'd have to craft, but that's okay. All right, we are off to the Guiding Lands. So I think we'll start with the Kuliaku because I believe that does Wildspire Waste and the Ancient Forest. Uh, we could also do the Toby Kadachi if we run into it. Summon help. Cool. Alright. Let's go look around. Oh, Cooley Q's behind us. Okay. That's fine. I really do enjoy the Guiding Lands. I like the idea of just hunting and hunting and hunting and hunting. I just wish it was easier to see the different, different gathering points. Looking at my map does not make it easy. I forgot to put Geologist on. Dang it, I always forget to do that. 
Um, so one of the other reasons that I've decided to just hunt whatever is because uh, the um, we're going to need parts from everything eventually, so it, it makes more sense to just focus on everything, and even if there's areas that we don't necessarily want to be our final area set up, uh, it'll be good to get the parts from the monsters that spawn in those areas. Uh, anyway, because we're going to need parts from everything in the long run. So we will leave after this one and then we'll come back because I'm going to make sure to go get Geologist Tom. Because we need it to make our time worthwhile. fun to do. Alright, let's pick up the shinies that we'll go after him. Uh, are there bones or anything around? So it'd be good to gather at least a few things while we're here. Seems like a uh, oh, there's some. Let's see. It seems like the wild player waste area never has anything. Hey, new material. Oop. Gotta go this way. say I am glad I have a good PC because one of my favorite streamers was uh, loading a Monster Hunter today to see if his PC could handle it now that he's upgraded it and he was still having issues on not even max settings and I was just like oh that blows because I'm lucky enough I can at least use the highest settings on my PC and I have no problems.
Princess Kui, who's still alive. There it goes. Wyvern track progress. It's fine, I guess. Probably just a Toby Kadachi. Alright, let's take a quick look for some materials. And then, yeah, so here's some bones. And then we'll uh, head back and add geologist to our set. Koliaku only increased the uh, Wildspire region. Did I max out the Shield Spire tool? Because it didn't go up at all. Let's check that real quick. I feel like I improved a lot today. I hope you'll bring me along on the next outing. Did we max this out? We did. Okay, so that's max. So that only leaves my favorite one, the Mialatov Cocktail. Alright, any quests or anything here? No. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, I need to make some more of those. So, let's see if we can do that. Some demon drugs. Okay. Oh, and catalysts too. Jeez. Well, on everything. Oh, I've got plenty of room, for, plenty of uh, materials for this. these left? No, four. One, so I need three of this first. And then... Oh, I don't know. Let's just do 41 and 41, I guess. Should be good. Should last us a while. Though I'll need more nourishing extract again. Uh, oh, right, geologist. Let's add that next. It might be worth it to drop a level of handicraft for the geologist. Do I even have that as a decoration yet? I don't remember. If I do, it's not on anything. So let's still not have it. That stinks. Yeah, it'd be above botany. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll just take the one level for now then. Because I'm not going to drop a bunch of my other good skills for, for that. Alright, we'll eat up and then we'll head back out to the Guiding Lands and this time actually hunt some stuff. Alright, let's 
Let's see what we got here. A uh, Nargakuga, Dodogama, Nightshade Palumu. All well, this could be fun. We'll start with Nargakuga. I should check what my mantle is. Yeah, we need to swap that. Uh, okay. Did I never change? Did I never change the handler's outfit? I thought I changed it back to the uh hang on a sec. No, this is all right. I know it's unlike unable to retrieve data because I freaking I swear in our last video we swapped her back to the alien. Because the Grand Appreciation Fest is still going on. Huh. You should try to find as many special tracks as you can. I have a feeling they'll lead to something good. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I'm going to have to check my last video. I'm a bit worried now. So because of being offline, Steam gave me this big warning about how it couldn't sync my file. And uh, because it couldn't sync my file, I might lo lose save data or something, blah, blah, blah. And I just thought, oh, it's because I'm offline. Of course, it can't sync. That's not a big deal. Um, but now I'm worried that because it couldn't sync data or something, I ha I'm on an old save or something. Because I swear that I switched her outfit. This is going to stink, but I'm just going to fight the Nargakuga, and I had planned on staying in the area and hunting more, but I think I'm just going to hunt the Nargakuga and run back to town to check on some stuff. I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit worried now that I may have screwed up my save file. switch her back to the alien, but as I've just mentioned, the uh, fest ended, and we don't have her outfit on PC as something we can purchase yet, so because we're offline, um, did it really, am I not going to be able to get to, uh, there we go, um, but because we're, we're offline and it's it was only an item for the uh, Appreciation Fest since we couldn't purchase the outfit yet as DLC, that's why she's reverted. Because the outfit's no longer available to us. So that's why. So no, my save file's fine. I didn't screw anything up. So we can stay out here and hunt. I just had to think about it for a few minutes.
glad I figured that out, because that was really going to worry me that I screwed up my save by saving over an old save, but I didn't. I was popping the potion at the time it attacked. So that sucks. That was a stupid death. I'm actually quite upset about that. Because it shouldn't have happened. But it did because... It just... I, I literally kept attacking and it would move the moment I attacked. Which is bad on my part, but it's also irritating because as soon as I was like, okay, I gotta heal, I guess, and then popped my freaking... Uh, max potion, it attacked and hit me and killed me. <laughs> Which means we're going to get less rewards, because that's how Guiding Lands works, so um, it stinks, because it basically means that the hunt is kind of pointless, because you get crap rewards, basically. Switching areas, so we'll go ahead and carve its tail. 
look around for Guiding Lands materials. Also, don't feel bad if you faint in the Guiding Lands. Uh, the enemies are tougher here, and um, it happens. Yes, it sucks to get less rewards, and I make it sound out. I make it sound worse than it is, but you know, don't feel bad. One of the reasons I like the Guiding Lands is it's a good spot to learn monsters because they are tougher than their normal area counterparts. And you can faint as many times as you want. Again, you get less rewards, but you, you don't ever fail, so you can still get something. And it's a chance to learn the enemy's moves and just get better at fighting them without worrying about just outright failing. So, um, yeah, don't, don't feel bad about it. Just use it as a means to get better.
attacks have no effect against an enraged monster. I can't believe I've enraged as soon as I went to sling her in. Another fun note, they did finally release the trailer for the new uh, variants that they're adding in March of uh, March for console and April for PC. I am very happy with the, uh, the choices that they made. Alright, unlocked a Great Jagras track, or lure I should say, I'm sorry, unlocked a Great Jagras lure. Um, we're gonna go hunt the coral puke puke that spawned. But we'll look around real quick for any other bones or crystals in the area before we head to the coral puke puke. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for the, the new monsters. Not, they weren't, one of them was what was expected, the other one was not. extra bones, it's nice. I wish I had more geologists and could get extra mining, but oh well. Need that level 4 deco first. Oh look, the mining point's back here this time. Okay. Kadachi spawn, huh? Yeah, I'm glad we're going after Coral Puki Puki. There's our friend. Oh great, Bombero spawned. Wonderful. freaking dung pods off like I thought, so that's wonderful. Honestly surprised that that thing's not leaving. There it goes, of course. Gosh darn it. I 
didn't start well at all. Be able to force like slash. Puka Puka is almost dead already, so that's good. Oh, there's another shiny up there. I better grab that before it disappears. 
Well, that sucks. I didn't realize there was one there, and as soon as I see it, it goes away. Yeah, it blows. Oh well. Let's grab our ore and stuff. Some bones over here. bone there too. That's nice. Always good to get new things. Legion is up to level 3. Making progress. Okay, let's look for some more bones and stuff. can spawn down here though. Nah, none. Oop, there's some more ore though, so let's grab that. Okay. I think that's a good spot for this video. <clears throat> we'll go back and finish up back in town. Ooh, large wyvern gem. That's nice. Eh, yeah, mighty jewel. Got some master rank there. The Meow Kano, which is my favorite Palico move. It's very cool. We'll get to see that in the next video. Let me think. I think I've read that before, that's why I didn't read it. Hopefully I'm correct about that.
We teach the scout flies to keep track of captured monsters to observe their movement patterns once they're, once they're released back into the wild. Alright, let's check what we can turn in. Oh, we should also pet and uh, take him somewhere and see if we can find that last outfit. Much like in Base World, if you take Boogie to the cantina, he will just run away screaming. I can't say I blame him. I think there's somewhere up here that we can take him. Yeah, right here. Let's see if this gets anything. Oh, there it is, Fluffy Fairy. Alright, that's the last outfit. Which... Fluffy Fairy, that's what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. So that should be all the outfits, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we'll check and see if there's anything that we can deliver. Um, and then... We'll go change the handler's outfit, and that will be where we end the video. So let's see what we can oh, yes. deliver. That was something, wasn't it? I hope Mon uh, Mansoor Director back east is finally getting some rest. Knowing him, he's probably sleeping on his face, uh, sleeping on his feet as we speak. Okay, complete deliveries. All right, we might as well do these since we have the stars badges for it. Typewriter and item box. I think I read those things before. You know what, in case I never did, let's let's just read them. Alright, so type to save your life. Ever prepared a life-saving doohickey that comes in handy in good times and bad? Or, I've prepared a life-saving doohickey that comes in handy in good times and bad. Get on, uh, get us some materials and we'll deliver it pronto. Go to old item box. Ever find something you don't need but sparks joy in your life? If so, we have just the decor for you. Get us the materials and we'll deliver it pronto. So these are all just paintings. Uh, we got plenty of these, so let's just do that one. Uh, plenty of these, so we can do this one too. I might need more of those, but whatever. We'll just have to hunt more shrieking like Yana. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think I've read those before too, but... <laughs> I guess I should read them, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah. Alright. Refreshing colors. I've been thinking your room needs some decor that is not only aesthetically perleasing, but will add cultural value per, val per value as well. How about a landscape of a pastel paradise, which is the Coral Highlands uh, painting? Where elders play. I've been thinking your room needs some decor that is not only aesthetically perleasing, but will add cultural value per value as well. How about a landscape of, of the home of the elders? So, looks like they're all the same, so I'm just going to read the last line. How about a landscape of frigid wonderland, which is what for us reach? Uh, and then, how about a portrait of a ferocious monster ready to attack? That's Nargakuga. And uh, how about a painting that portrays an epic standoff, which is Zora Magdaros? Alright, we'll go change the handler's outfit. And then I'll end the video. Um, I don't think I'm going to record again tonight. I think instead I'm just going to do some uh, off-camera hunting to try and get some materials. Um, don't worry. I don't hunt anything we've not hunted before off-camera. I just farm things we've fought before. Um, I just figure it would be a good idea to uh, farm some stuff that we don't have optional quests for anymore and uh, we still need materials from. And it'll just be a nice relaxing way for me to end my night before I go to bed. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then our next video, we'll hopefully be heading back out to the Guiding Lands, or we'll be doing optional quests, one or the other. I hope you'll bring your friends by for a visit sometime, Meowster. Uh, okay, so I just want to change the handler's outfit, since we no longer have access to uh, the um, alien. I don't know why that's still got an exclamation next to it, but I guess I never showed it before, but, um, 
Oh yeah, it's only two pages. Man, I feel like there were more listed before, but I guess not. Uh, obviously I showed you the Terrifying Tyrant before, but we're gonna set her to Kokoda Gale's costume. I can feel a warm breeze over my head, it's so nice. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but that's fine. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just remembering wrong, but I just feel like there's some that are missing for some reason. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos. And of course, you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. However, that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this is Zephyr. Signing out.